This is Dennis Michelson. It's time to go down on the farm and talk to Mr. Scott Lay from Agerson. Scott, great to have you back on the show. You guys have a booklet called Sustainable Plant Health Technology Overview. Tell folks a little bit about what they're going to see. Sustainable practices or technologies can be employed in real lives, intense managed uh, production systems and, and not at the expense of yield. It can also actually be used to enhance yield or productivity. Our technologies, they either benefit the plant as it grows and progresses physiologically throughout the season or benefits the soil, increasing nutrient availability, increasing enzymatic activity, increasing soil respiration, or both. If we can benefit the plant or the soil or both, and, and pair those, those technologies with uh, regular production practices, traditional production practices, uh, that's a win-win. Job one is to increase ROI or productivity. And if, if we can do that by employing some of these technologies, we think that's a winning combination. One of the products you talk about is Accomplish Max. And then sometimes when we get a later planting, the crop just doesn't have a chance to get that good deep root structure that it wants to get through those dry periods in the summer. And Accomplish Max could be a key to helping avoid some of those stresses on our plants. Accomplish Max, this will be year two for the, the product last year. Uh, was treated on nearly 2 million acres. Uh, again, it's an in furrow product with starter fertilizers, an average of seven to eight bushels response in corn. Uh, if you can minimize the stresses and that through the germination, emergence, and, and early season, while those critical yield determining factors like number of rows around on the ear are determined, if you can minimize stresses, enhance the amount of groceries or nutrients that are available to that plant, uh, that plant has a better chance to yield. Another one of the products you talk about is extract. It simply is making sure you get all the benefits out of the nutrients you're already putting down in your soil. That seems like a no-brainer to me. Extract has grown uh, appreciably over the last several years for many of the reasons you just articulated. There are hundreds of dollars worth of nutrients that every farmer in the U.S. has already paid for that is, are in the soil profile or in the prior year's crop residue. Extract is a broadcast application designed simply to enhance or accelerate Mother Nature's work in mineralizing those nutrients to a plant available form. Another one of the products that you guys talk about is Terramar, and this is one that um, I know my listeners might not be as familiar with. Last year we had an informal launch or introduction uh, where we had tremendous results. It's a foliar or post-application timing for corn or soybeans. Uh, the essence of it, Dennis, is while we can't control temperatures and precipitation and environmental conditions, we know that those environmental conditions have tremendous impact on, upon the crop's ability to yield. The Terramar rounds off those corners, minimizes heat and drought stress in the plant, gives that corn or soybean plant a better yield potential. Or we, We're not providing increased yield, but we're just preserving that potential that already exists. It's not just another trip across the field. It can, can be combined with some of those other products that you're going to be already be uh, making the pass in the field uh, with. Uh, if we can embed our technologies and practices or applications that are already taking place and, and make that ease of use, uh, that bar to clear very low, so that farmers don't have to alter what it, what it is they're already, they are already doing, we've got a better likelihood of experiencing success.